Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you the Vibrato Trill. Now the vibrato trill is one of the simplest and most useful ornaments that you can use either in klezmer or in uh, most kinds of East European music. I think it's pretty appropriate in Hungarian and Romanian in particular, but it gives that wild and impassioned feel uh, to a lot of uh, East European music. Um, I got the name vibra Vibrato Trill from Yale Strom, who is a, uh, a writer on klezmer music, and I've got lots of his books. Um, I, I'd been playing it quite a lot before I had a name for it, and so thank you Yale for providing that. So, what it is basically, if you are playing a first finger melody note, then you rest your second finger right up against it, and you rock your second finger just up and down just so that it disturbs the string that you're playing. So you're not playing, you're definitely not doing that, you're just touching it enough to disturb the note. So it's a bit like a vibrato but it's also a bit like a trill so it's quite an appropriate name. Um, if you're doing a second finger note Obviously you rest your third finger on the second finger. The th uh, third finger note is quite hard to do. Uh, certainly with my fourth finger it is uh, resting that. So what I will often do if I want one of these is go into third position and use my second finger. Uh, you might think it's not possible on a, an open string but if you use your first finger and just rock it up and down um, right on the nut then that's pretty effective. So you can do a scale uh, from D to D. And the, the speed and the number of rocks that you do is really up to you. I think if you can do it fast, then do it fast. And if you only manage to get one or two or, uh, little rocks in, then that's fine. Um, so I've got this tune, the Bess Arabian Wedding Dance, which is uh, a good uh, example of a fast tune using it. And I'm also going to show you a Yiddish Hosidl, which is a slow tune. Uh, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you the tune itself, but I'll just run, run through once the basic tune of the Bess Arabian Wedding Dance uh, without the ornament, then I'll put the ornament in. So it's pretty fast. Uh, I don't expect to learn it straight away, but it goes like this. One, two, three, four... So to, to that we're going to add on the open A's, the, the vibrato trill, and to the C's. Uh, so in fact it's just in those two places, on the C's and on the A's. Incidentally, if any of you are familiar with the Bulgarian vocal tradition, you'll know that the, the women have a special way of singing which does have a very similar sort of vibrato, a kind of a, um, an extended vibrato. And I think part of the reason I like this is it's a kind of an imitation of that. Now I'm going to show you another tune, a Yiddish Hosidl, 
which uh, I learned from a recording by Max Leibowitz from 1916 and it's also on the Belf Romanian Orchestra recording of 1912 although I think they use a different title um, and because this is a slower tune there's a lot more uh, chance to put it in um, I'll show you the basic tune uh, with the backing without ornamentation and then we'll put it in Now on top of that we're going to put uh, several ornaments including the crests which is a little flick of the fourth finger. Um, if you are not familiar with that then just ignore it for now but I do have a video explaining that one. We've got some sliding notes which again if you're not familiar with them don't worry about that uh, but what we're going to concentrate on is the The very first um, vibrato trill we're going to do is on a four finger note, which obviously we can't do, so I'm going to, going to go into third position to use my second finger and third finger. Uh, we've got, uh, that comes again in that line, then we've got uh, that one, which you can do in first position. We've got an open string rocking with the first finger. We've got a second finger, um, uh, on the, uh, the breakdown section, I think it's too much to do it on every note, so just maybe on one of those notes, and then... and you can do it right at the end. So um, you don't have to do it every time there's an opportunity uh, but since we're practicing it then uh, you should, probably should do more than you would normally do. Um, so let's go through once more and this time with the ornaments and as I say if you're not familiar with the other ornaments then just leave them out just concentrate on trying to get the vibrato trill.
enjoyed this. If you'd like more tunes like this and more information about klezmer, then I do have a book, Exploring Klezmer Fiddle, which has a whole lot of tunes and lots of background information. Uh, if you would like a copy of these dots, then do subscribe and send me an email, and I'll play you out with a couple of times around the Bessarabian Horror. See you soon. Thank you.